Hello, my juniors and seniors. Welcome to day 37. One of our last virtual Mondays, actually. It looks like we have about four or five left, since next uh, Monday, the 26th, is a day off for you guys. Let's pray, and then we'll get into a little bit more analysis today. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day, for this opportunity that you um, have granted me to teach upperclassmen, um, as well as uh, the freshmen that I teach on the regular, too. Um, we do pray, God, that we can um, use our time wisely today, even as we are at home virtually. I pray that you are helping our technology to work. I pray that you're helping all of us to focus, myself included, as I try to catch up on some grading today, too. Um, Jesus, we love you. We ask for your, your grace and mercy to be upon us today. We ask that you are um, helping us to set our eyes on higher things in the midst of this uh, really tricky year that we've been living in. We love you, Jesus. We pray this all in your name. Amen. Same objective as last week, analyzing creative texts. This whole week, as I told you guys last week, is designed for outlining for your creative analysis essay. I figured today would be a good day for me to show you what a complete outline for the creative analysis essay would look like. So right now, you're watching our outline overview video. In this video, I'm going to walk through the, uh, step by step what I did for my example outline here. This should help you identify a few different methods that you can take for writing your own creative analysis essay. Um, a lot of this will be pointless if you haven't completed the select your text discussion yet. So um, if you want, you can pause this video and select your text first, or maybe you want to watch through my outline first uh, to give you an idea of what you want to do for your analysis essay. That's fine too. But if you have not completed the select your text discussion yet, please do so today. Um, it's going to be really hard for you to keep pace on your outline if you haven't selected um, what you're going to analyze yet. Once again, short story, poem, song, or artwork of your choice. A lot of you have chosen songs so far, which is great. I hope my example outline is especially helpful for you, as I did a song too. Today is also just a great day in general to read and analyze your text. So if you haven't spent a whole lot of time in the story or poem or song or, or a piece of artwork that you've chosen. Um, today's a great day just to kind of spend some time in it, do some analysis, figure out what that theme is or what those techniques are that bring out that theme. Again, we'll look at that with my outline too. Upcoming for us in our next lesson, just a short little grammar lesson uh, covering uh, pronoun case errors. We'll take some notes and get some practice with pronoun case. We'll use the rest of our time to work on your analysis essay outline as well. That grammar lesson will not take very long. You should know that our lesson towards the end of the week will be a full uh, outlining workday as well. So no grammar later on this week, just focusing on the outline. One thing you guys should know in general about today, too, is that as you're working on this stuff, I haven't really given you any assignment today. Um, I'm using today to catch up on as much graded work as I can, too. So I'll be available off and on in Teams if you have any questions for me about the creative analysis essay or about your grade book in general. I'm going to do my best to be available for you today. So analysis essay outline walkthrough. One thing I would want to note is that I have uh, opened up your document from the analysis essay outline here. It's not due until the end of Sunday. I know Sunday is a weird day for this, but um, since you have next Monday off, what that does is it allows you to finish it and gives me a day to give you feedback before we start drafting these essays. We're going to look at our walkthrough here. So video walkthrough for my example outline. Um, for your convenience, I've attached my example outline here for you to refer to. I'll include that in each of uh, this week's lesson folders as well. You can compare my outline to yours. Let's just take a look at this thing together. I'll click view. All right, so this document here is actually the prompt the outline follows as well. So we can skip a lot of this stuff here. Here we go. We get to my example outline right here. Um, now, one thing to note, I know a lot of you are doing songs. Um, so I went ahead and did mine on a song as well. This is intro three. I know my in-person classes took a brief glance at this um, when we were together at the end of last week. If I were to write an essay about intro three by NF, here's what I would do in my planning. Starts with my thesis statement right here. I know it comes last in my introduction, but I always want to include it first because my, it's going to govern my entire essay. Here's what I wrote. NF structures intro three as an argument with his personified fear. As they argue, the song's dynamics denote how he learns to control his fear. I like that dynamics denote right there. A little bit of alliteration. 
One thing to note, at some point in your introduction paragraph, include the author and title of your work. That could be as early as your attention getter, or it could be as late as your thesis. It just has to be at, at some point in your introduction. While we're looking at introduction, uh, for my attention getter, I just decided to go with a quote strategy right here. I took some, some of NF's lyrics from another song. Welcome to the bottom of hell. They say pain is a prison. Let me out of my cell. That slash there is what we would use to um, identify where lines switch in poetry or music. Keep that in mind as you're planning evidence for this thing. NF's full name is Nathan Feuerstein, NF right there. My attention getter allows me a really easy way to connect into my background sentences. I'm going to explain who Nathan Feuerstein is, explain his background a little bit. I might especially talk about some of his past uh, trauma. They say pain is a prison, let me out of my cell. He uses uh, rap as a way to work through a lot of the trauma from his past. I might also talk about some of his style and some of his themes as a rapper here in my background sentences. That's going to tie in well with my thesis, where I'm looking specifically at intro three, where he is discussing with one of his fears, which is well, one of his themes, which is fear. And there I'm talking about some of the things found in his lyrics and the music as well. For those of you choosing a song, by the way, this is a, a reminder that you are allowed to analyze the lyrics. You're allowed to analyze the music. You're allowed to do both at the same time. That's up to you. In this essay, I'm looking at both the lyrics, talking about personification especially, and I'm looking at the musicality itself, looking at dynamics, how he controls volume throughout the song. For body, notice that it says paragraphs can be divided at your choosing. That's really going to depend on what you do in your thesis. I would argue that my thesis statement lends itself well for two body paragraphs. One about personification, about how the song is structured as an argument with fear. I would use the second body paragraph to talk about dynamics. How does the volume of this piece bring out that same theme of controlling fear as well? So for my first body paragraph, I would probably choose a topic sentence that says something like, personification is the most important literary element in intro three, period. Let's dive right into my evidence for personification. And here, notice that I've cited it by line numbers. Uh, took us from a no name, told you everything was okay, line switch. Now you're trying to cut me out of it like I ain't never been a part of it. I'm the heart of it. I made this whole thing. Again, three lines right there. And then comes my commentary. Little reminder that outlines do not need to be in complete sentences. I chose to use some, just some ideas, some strategies for commentary right here. I'm going to explain how this whole song, once again, is an argument between NF and his fear. Um, in this passage right here, lines 33 through 35, Fear is mostly trying to intimidate or pressure NF. And I just explained that a little bit further, right? Fear is telling Nathan that he needs his fear to be successful. Is that the entire point of the song? Not yet. Again, that starts to develop the theme that fear is trying to control him. I need to get to the point where he controls his fear. Let's bring that a little bit further. In evidence two, later in the track, their argument ends with, you had me scared for a second. I thought we were digging my grave. There's a thunk sound. We did. What, you don't like being afraid? Notice that I express the lyrics exactly as they are. That's why there's some brackets and italics right here. Those are lines 81 through 83. Here I, I drive the point home with personification. Here NF wins the argument by quote unquote killing his fear as if fear is a person. In these lines, the thunk is the shovel hitting fear. And then I would explain those lines in italics as well. Once again, some of my ideas in complete sentences, I know exactly what I want to say. Some of these are not in complete sentences. I'll have to develop them in drafting later, and that's okay. Now notice evidence three, I've split into another paragraph here. When I'm drafting, I'll have to include another topic sentence here, and that's okay. This would be a good spot for me to shift paragraphs and talk about musicality. How many paragraphs is up to you. If you want if you want one big body paragraph, just talking about may, maybe one major literary device, um, that's absolutely fine. If you want a bunch of smaller body paragraphs, three or four smaller body paragraphs, totally fine as well. It's up to you how much you want to talk about. Within your creative piece, I chose two. In the first half of the song, the instrumental intensifies by layering new instruments. So here, uh, as I'm talking about dynamics, I basically split the song into two halves. The first half where everything intensifies, and the second half where things decrescendo. So in my commentary, I'm just going to talk about how 
the new instruments layer in. The song starts with a soft piano beat. They layer in the strings in the choir till about the 245 mark. That's the moment where Nathan strikes his spear dead with a shovel. And there I'm going to make the point once again that the crescendo ramps up the intensity of this argument. Fear is trying to control Nathan. The theme of the song is that Nathan can control his fear. The dynamics tie into that really well. Notice that for my evidence here, I don't need to direct quote anything because I'm talking about the musicality. Um, if you are mentioning musicality, it might be wise to, to come up with minute marks, just timestamps for when these things happen for the sake of your readers. In the second half, the, gra the instrumental gradually softens in volume, it decrescendos. I'm going to make the point that the beat cuts out entirely for a few seconds as NF buries his fear. And then from there, the instruments that were layered in start to drop out. The choral shouts drop out, the strings drop out next. At the end, all that's left is that original piano riff that was there in the beginning. This might signify how Nathan is at peace once he controls his fear. And I would just finish that body paragraph with a summary sentence. Along with personification, the song's dynamics bring out its theme, just something short and sweet to cut that or to close that out. I suppose I could make that work as one big body paragraph. This essay only has to be a page and a half in length which that could totally work. It just might make more sense for me to split it into two body paragraphs. Obviously, when you split into multiple paragraphs, it gives you a little more propensity for length as it gives you that extra space. And as it also um, gives you additional uh, topic and summary sentences, just to add a little bit of length. In my conclusion, notice that my restated thesis says the same thing as my, as my um, regular thesis and in my introduction, just different word choice. NF's dynamics and use of personification in intro three, I forgot to put that in quotation marks and capitalize intro, capture his winning battle with his fear. Summary sentences, I just chose one per body paragraph. Uh, personification is used throughout the song to highlight fear's death grip on NF's life. The dynamics of the song crescendo as his argument with fear boils, and then they fall after he kills his fear. For my final thought, just a reminder, I usually don't plan these out in complete sentences early on. I like to I like to kind of let it come naturally as I am drafting my essay, but I just gave myself an idea right here. Just to double back to uh, that prison he's talking about in the attention getter, maybe I can refer to the final lines of intro three where he says that the whole time he's been the one holding the keys, right? He thought that, that uh, his fear had him in prison, but the whole time he was the one in control as he finds out over the course of the song. As you can tell, I, I have an idea of how I would draft this essay. This is a text that I'm familiar with, so you might want to spend some time today familiarizing yourself with your text. Um, you will have access to this example outline all week as you're working on outlining for your own essay. Next week is our drafting week, and then we are done with new essays for the entire semester.